is still have our measurement chart up because these are the words that we're going to be using in our lesson today. We're going to be looking at objects and we're going to decide, hmm, could we measure how long they are or how tall they are? Or could we measure how much could fit inside of it, how much it could hold? Or could we measure how much it weighs? We're going to look at the objects and we're going to decide what it is that we can measure about it. Okay, and we're going to use our words longer, shorter, taller, holds more, holds less, heavier, and lighter. All of our words we get to use today. All right, let me get some objects so we can talk about some examples. Let's talk about this pencil. And let's talk about some of the ways that we could describe the pencil using our measurement words. So if we're not using measurement words, you might describe the color. You might say it's yellow or you might say it's pointy, but we don't want to talk about how it looks. We want to use, describe it using measurement words. So words like longer, shorter, taller. How would you describe this pencil? You might say that pencil looks tall, or you might say that pencil looks long, right? Those are some measurement words we could use to describe it. Now, if I wanted to really measure how tall it is, look what I could do. I have my cube train. We compared length using cube train. We would say this pencil is taller than these cubes. But watch this. We know it's taller than two cubes. What if I add all these? How many is that now? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, this pencil is taller than five cubes. How about this? Oh yeah, this pencil is, pencil is taller than six cubes. Let's keep going. <gasps> is it taller than seven cubes? It is. Is it taller than eight cubes? It is. Oh, look at that. That's the lucky number. Look at it. We could say that the pencil is nine cubes tall. Wow. We used the cube train to describe how tall the pencil is. I got out my bowl. And can I use the blocks to measure my bowl? Yeah, you're right. It's, even though it's not straight like the pencil, I can still see how tall it is. Is it a very tall thing? No, it's kind of short. So I would describe this and I would say, the bowl is short, but I could use my box to measure. Mm, still too tall. It's about three cubes tall. Or I could say the bowl is shorter than four cubes. The bowl is taller than two cubes. The bowl is about three cubes tall. But, hmm, we can also describe this another way. Look, look at this bowl. Do you see that? There's space inside there. So we could talk about the capacity of the bowl. We could talk about how much it holds. Well, how would I, how would I measure how much it holds? Look what I brought with me. Have you ever seen one of these before? You might have seen it in the kitchen, in the kitchen at your house. It's called a measuring cup. Can you say measuring cup? Measuring cup. And I like to use these when I'm cooking or when I'm baking, like if I'm making cookies and it says you need one cup of sugar. Then I pour the sugar inside and I know, okay, one cup of sugar and I put it in my bowl. Or maybe the recipe calls for one cup of water. Then I pour my water in here and I pour it in the bowl. But we can use this measuring cup to figure out how many cups of water fits in the bowl, right? Because we want to know the capacity, how much it holds. We're going to describe it and we're going to say, I think it holds a lot or I think it holds a little. 
We don't know. We're going to describe it, okay? So let's figure out how many cups of water the bowl holds. So I'm trying my best to be precise. Remember, I got my um, tray so I could make it spill. Okay, it's full to the top, so I know this is one cup. Now I'm gonna put it in the bowl. Is this full to the top or is there more room? There's a little bit more room. So we can say this holds more than one cup. It holds more than one cup. I don't, do you think it's gonna fit two cups? I don't know if it's gonna fit two cups. Guys, there's just like a teeny tiny bit of leftovers because this is not here. Let's see if we can do this. How much did this bowl hold? Two cups. We measured the capacity of the bowl using the measuring cup. If we want to measure capacity, we can use a measuring cup. If we want to measure the height or the length, we use an acute train. This holds two cups of water. This has a big capacity. It could hold a lot more than two cups of water. Now, if we wanted to know the weight, do you remember that special thing that Mrs. Hal built with the ruler and the lint roller? Yeah, if we wanted to know the weight, we could use a balance. And remember, I don't have a balance at my house, but it's like <clears throat> when we had the um, two cubes and one cube and we put it on the balance and if it was heavier, it would sink to the ground because it, it's closer to the ground, we know it's heavier. Could we also measure the weight of a pencil? Yeah, we could find out how much it weighs. We could put it on the balance and see, is it lighter than the cubes or heavier than the cubes? Could we measure the weight of, that, of this bowl? Yeah, especially when it's full of water, we know it's gonna be probably heavier than the pencil. And if we wanted to measure the weight, we would use that balance, okay? Let's look at the worksheet. Look at our friend Maya. She's at school and she has all the choices of tools to use. She sees the cube train, the balance to measure the weight, and the measuring cup to measure the capacity, how much something holds. And she has this water bottle up in the shelf and it's Maya's job to measure the water bottle. Now, looking at our choices, what do you think she could use to measure the water bottle? Yeah, she could use all three. It just depends on what she's trying to measure. So if she wanted to measure the height of the water bottle, she uses the cube train to say, ooh, this cube train is taller. I mean, this water bottle is taller than this cube train. But if she wants to know how heavy it is, she could put it in the balance. And she put, it looks like she put an apple from her lunch in the balance. And looking at the balance, the water bottle's closer to the ground. So we know in a balance, if something's closer to the ground, that means it's heavier. So the water bottle is heavier than her apple. The last thing she does is get out her cup. She could measure the capacity she could find out how many cups of water fit inside her water bottle. Maya found an object that she can measure all three things with. Let's look at this problem down here. It says, look at the object on the left. Oh, what's that a picture of? A pencil, we just did it. We just did one with a pencil, but look, this is a short pencil and ours was a long pencil. Identify how it can, what we can measure. So could we measure the length of this pencil? Yes, we could decide how long it is or how short it is. Okay, we can measure the length. Could we measure the weight of the pencil? Could we measure how much it weighs? Yeah, we could put this in a balance with something else and compare the weight. Could we measure the capacity, how much it holds? Well, a pencil 
doesn't hold anything, right? You can't fit any water in there. We can't measure the capacity of this because it doesn't hold anything. So if we're trying to measure the pencil, we could use the cube train to measure the length. And we could use the balance to measure, measure the weight. But we're not going to use the cup because we can't measure how much it holds. We can't measure the capacity of the pencil. So we'll save the cup for something else. Let's look at another choice. Mm, number two. This is a bucket. It looks like a bucket or a cup. Let's pretend it's a cup. We can do a cup. Now, could we measure the height of a cup? Could we measure the height of a cup? Yeah, we could take this cube train and we could put it next to our cup and decide how tall it is, right? Or we could even put it the other way and check out the length of the cup. So does this work for us? Yes, it does. Okay. Let's look at the one on the end because I'm excited about it. Because we are looking at a cup and we have a measuring cup over here. Remember, the measuring cup is used to find out the capacity. Could you find out the capacity of this cup? Could you find out how many cups of water fit inside this red one? Yes, we could. Ooh, this is the first time. Okay, we get to circle the cup because we could find out how much fits inside. Now, how about this? What's the balance for? Yeah, the balance is to tell us how much it weighs. And could we figure out how much this cup weighs if we put it on a balance? Yeah, it might be hard to set it on there, but we could put the cup on the balance and we could put something else on the balance and we could compare the weight. That works. All right, how about this eraser? What do you think? Do you think we could use a cube train to measure it? Yes or no? Yes, we could. We can measure the length of the eraser. We could look and see how many cubes long it is. Could we measure the weight? Yeah, we could put the eraser on one side and maybe some glue on the other side and we could decide which one weighs more and which one weighs less. We could do that. How about the cup? Can we use the cup? Oh, uh, no, we can't measure the capacity of the eraser. It doesn't hold anything. We can't figure out how much it holds. So we'll leave that one alone. All right, let's look at the jar of jam. Mm, do you like jelly on peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? Or maybe jelly on your toast? Look at the jelly jar. Could you measure the jelly jar with your cube chain? Yeah, you could see how tall it is or how long it is. We could definitely measure the jelly jar. Do you think a jelly jar is heavy or light? <gasps> hey, if we can describe it using the words heavy and light, we can measure it with the balance. We could find out the weight, right? All right, the last one to check. Can we measure the jelly jar, jar's capacity? Yeah, we could say this holds a lot of jelly or this holds a little bit of jelly. We could find out how many cups would fit inside there. You got it. All right, one last one to try. The measure, the, the ruler. Could you measure the length of the ruler with your cubes? Yeah, you could find out how long your ruler is. Okay, we can use cubes. Could you, would you want to know how heavy your ruler is? Could you find that out? Yeah, if you put it in a balance, you can find out how heavy it is. How about, could you find out the capacity of the ruler? No, the ruler does not hold anything. We cannot use cups to measure. We can't find the capacity because it does not hold anything. For your challenge, I need you to find three objects in your house. But when you're looking for them, I want you to find one object that you could measure using cubes. So you want to be able to measure the length or the height of it. Another object that you could measure using a measuring cup, something that you could measure the capacity of. And the last object, something you could measure
the weight of. You could measure with the balance, okay? So you're finding three objects and you're going to tell me how you could measure them. Let me give you an example because this is a little bit tricky. Okay, first I found this P. I could measure the length of this P with a cube train. Okay, that's my first example. I'm showing you what I can measure with a cube train. You don't have a cube train at your house and that's okay. You can just tell me about the object. The second thing I found was my shoe. I could find out the weight of my shoe by using a balance. Okay, so this one, I can find out the length with the cube train or the height. This one, I could find out the weight with the balance. And my last object is for capacity. This is my soap bottle. I could find out how much this soap bottle holds using a measuring cup. I could find out the capacity of this soap bottle, right? So I have one for length and height, one for weight, and one for capacity. Go find your objects.